Hey guys, Ryan at Renewed Health. I am super excited today. I want to talk with you about a new red light that's hitting the market that I placed an order for the other day. So as you know, we have an affiliation with a number of manufacturers. If you use our discount code, we will receive a small commission for that, but it'll also get you a discount as well. So I uh, really appreciate you tuning in. Be sure to hit like and uh, check us out continually. And feel free to call me if you've got any questions. That's probably something pretty different than a lot of these online influencers. If you need something, feel free to call me. All right, so good news. Mito Red Light has come out with what I think, to be fair with you, is my favorite light yet to hit the market. It is called the Mito Pro X. All right, so this right here is a Mito Pro. This is a Mito Pro uh, 750. And right now they continue to offer the Mito Pro Plus, which is an upgrade of this. It's, it's very similar looking. They've made a couple refinements to it. Same workhorse of a product, works fantastic. However, the Mito Pro X is everything that I would have wanted in a panel, period. All right, so I'm just gonna call it what it is. So they have changed a couple different things. Number one, they've added a really nice control panel to it. Uh, it's a touchscreen control panel, timer, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the wavelengths. They've also incorporated into that an app where you can data track your data, you can um, uh, provide feedback on your results as well. So there's some interesting things you can turn it on from the app. I think there's some pretty cool interfaces with the app, uh, but the touch screen is nice. It's definitely current day. It's an improvement over the on and off buttons or the you know press button timers uh, that these have traditionally used. All right, now that probably wouldn't cause me to buy a new panel. Uh, so what has caused me to buy a new panel is the fact that uh, the Mito Pro X now includes a 810 wavelength. So they've changed the wavelengths on this a little bit. So the Mito Pro historically has had four different wavelengths. Mito Pro X has five. And uh, the biggest change is that they've taken the 8 30 and 850 on the near infrared spectrum, and they've changed that to now A10 and A30. Okay, so it's a deeper pen penetrating, it's stronger, more, more more scientific research being done on neurological benefits of A10 as well. It's just a deeper penetrating kind of wavelength than the historical 850 was. So most panels use 850 because, candidly, they're the cheaper LEDs to get. They're used for lots of different applications outside of just therapeutic panels. And so they were available in large quantity at a much lower price than some of these specialized wavelengths. Now the price point has probably become more competitive and companies are really doing a lot of research on, the, uh, on some of these alternative wavelengths and A10 seems to be a really, really good efficacious uh, wavelength. So that's awesome. The other thing I'll tell you is flat out, each of the, um, each of the lenses on the new X are gonna contain two full strength LED chips. Okay, what that means is if you want to take it from like how I use it, which would be 50-50, so red light, near infrared, red light, near infrared, you want to turn it all near infrared, uh, you want to turn it all red, you can now do that with the new Mito, X, Mito Pro X. Okay, And uh, there's a lot of companies out there that are calling these dual chip uh, or multi-wavelength um, outputs. What they're doing is they're putting multiple, uh, multiple chips inside of each of the lens but they're powering them all at the same time, okay? Uh, Mido's not doing that. They're putting double chips in each of them. When you turn it 50-50 on red and near infrared, uh, those, there's only one of those chips that's lit up per lens. It's at full power, okay? So they're running full power through each of it. Now, if I wanna shift it to all red, it goes full power and all red or full power in the near infrared or uh, full power at 50-50 spread as well. So that's pretty darn cool. The only other thing I'll mention here that they've changed, they've added a new, a new wavelength of 590, which is in the amber kind of color range. And this seems to have some, I'm gonna have to do some more research on this, but they're only taking 6% of the wavelengths uh, of the total lights on those panels to be that 590. So for skin, for aesthetic benefits and things of that sort, yeah, that could be a pretty interesting uh, deal as well. So they're not putting any blue into it like some other companies. Uh, they're not going way into the high 1000s like some other companies. They're doing uh, really staying with the red, you know, the amber uh, at 590, more of an orangish kind of color at the 630 and the traditional red at the 660. And then in the near infrared spectrums are dropping it down into 810 and 830. 
So I hope that's not too confusing. Uh, one other small thing that they've done is they've incorporated an alarm. So if you want, if you have one of these panels set up in your bedroom, and you want to wake up in the morning to some red light, you can set the alarm to have it trigger to begin biologically waking you up in the morning with some sunrise type of light coming in your room. So that could be pretty cool as well. So stay tuned. It'll be a while before we have the Mido Pro X, but I'll just be fair with you. The price points on these things are a little bit more expensive, but it's pretty phenomenal. Use our discount code to get you a discount. And if all these features seem like too much, the Mido Pro Plus is a phenomenal panel. Uh, I don't think you'll regret that either. So friends, thank you. Have a great week and be sure to come back and see us soon. Bye.